Okay then my friends, we've made some good progress with this application and there's one more big feature I want to add which we're going to tackle over several lessons and that is the ability to reorder chapters by dragging and dropping them and when we do that we should see that change visually as it happens but then it should also update the dates in the table by changing the chapter numbers and to do this we'll be using a combination of a library called sortable.js in combination with hdmx so let's do this. The first thing we need to do is make a script for the outline page and I'm adding it to the outline page and not the chapters page because we only need this script to load if JavaScript is enabled and we see the dynamic HTMX driven outline page. So to do this come to the bottom and we'll use a directive called push and we're going to reference the scripts as an argument and what this does is push any of the code I place inside this directive to a stack called scripts which is rendered in the layout file and I can open that layout file up and show you where that is right at the bottom. So then let's head back to the outline page and flesh this out. First of all I'm going to copy the CDN link to the sortable library from my course files and I'm going to paste it in right here so that we can actually use sortable. Next I'm going to make another script tag below that and inside this script tag we're going to say htmx and then we're going to use the onload function or method on that and invoke it and we pass in a callback function which automatically receives a content argument okay now this onload method is actually an event listener and it gets triggered and fires this callback function whenever htmx dynamically loads some content into the page and this content variable is that html content or a javascript version of it in our case when this outline page loads the function should fire twice because we have the chapters content loaded as well as the codex content but we're only concerned with the chapters content right so we could then nest an if statement inside this function to check the id of the content so we're going to say if and then parentheses we're going to say content.id to grab the id value of the content wrapper if you like the parent element and we're going to see if that is equal to the chapter list class then if it is we can do something uh, and this id by the way is the id of the parent element of the content that we load in i can show you that by opening the chapters index page and coming to the div element just inside the fragment which has this id right here all right so now we can fire some code only when that chapter content gets loaded in and this is where we can set up the list to be sortable now in order to do this the first thing we need to do is wrap our list of sortable items with some kind of container element and that container element is then going to have maybe a class called sortable and we can grab that container element from this javascript and we can tell the sortable library that everything inside that is a sortable item okay so we need to basically wrap the list so at the moment we have a for else here which is outputting this div and this div down here for every single element every single chapter right so we need to wrap that entire list so let's do that just above the for else I'm going to create a div right here with a class of sortable like so and then I will take the closing div tag and I'm going to place it at the bottom of this left, uh, list. All right, so we've done that and now we can use it. Okay, so now back in the script, we can grab that list container by saying const and we'll call this constant sortable and then we'll set it equal to document.query selector and inside we need to specify that sortable class we just added. Okay, so we've got the DOM element that wraps all the individual chapters in the list. And now we can use the sortable library to make all those chapters within that wrapper sortable. To do that, we're going to make another constant, this time called sortable instance. And I'm going to set that one equal to a new sortable. And we invoke it. And this comes from the sortable library that we're linked to. Now this takes in two arguments. The first one is the DOM element which wraps the list that we want to be sortable and we have that up here called sortable. So let's add that as the first argument. The second argument is an object where we can specify some options. So let's place that as the second argument. Now the first option is going to be the animation property which allows us to specify the animation speed in milliseconds when a list item gets reordered. So I'm going to set that to be 150. The second option I'll add is one called ghost class and this is going to be a 
dynamic CSS class that we can specify that Sortable then adds to any list item which is currently being dragged or reordered so that we can style it a little bit differently. So I'll say the class name should be sorting and we're going to add those styles later on. The last property that I'm going to add is one called on end, and that allows us to register a function which fires as soon as we've reordered a list item. So as soon as we've let go of it and it's got a new position. Now later, we'll be sending a request using HTMX from inside this function to send any order updates to the server. But for now, I'm just going to log a message to the console so that we can see that the function is firing correctly when we sort the chapters. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Now I just want to add this sorting class to the CSS to style the chapters when they're being moved around. Okay, so let's open up the CSS file over here and then right at the bottom, I'm just gonna paste this in. So we have that class sorting and we say the outline is dotted. These are all tailwind classes, by the way. We give it an indigo color, the outline, and we say the opacity of the element is 50. So this means while the chapter, the list item is being dragged around and sorted, it gets these styles. All right, so it looks a bit different. Cool, let's try it out. And actually just very quickly, I just tried this out. It didn't work. That's because this div with a class of sortable, I put the closing tag down here too early and it should actually be down here after the four else. So let me save that now and try again. All right, so now in a browser, we should be able to click and drag on these chapters to move them around and we can. Awesome. And notice the style of the one being dragged is a little bit different because sortable added that dynamic class to it while it's being moved and we styled it. All right, so this is all good. It's working on the front end, but there is a problem. Right now, when we sort the chapters like this, the chapter numbers aren't updating. Now, the chapter numbers are driven by a property on each record called order, which is a number, one, two, three, four, etc. right? And right now, when we change the order on the front end, we're not then sending that order change to the server to update those properties on the chapters themselves in the database. So we're gonna fix that in the next lesson.